All right, guys. Hey, it's Jacob from Woodsy RC and Reds RC Raceway. So I haven't done any crawling videos or TRX4M videos or TRX4 videos or Summit videos in a minute. It's been about three weeks or so. Um, but I have been messing with uh, my two. This one's really my son's and my fiance's. This one's mine. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did to mine. Uh, might do a little running video and then kind of see see how it performs so on this one right now i don't have anything done to it except an aftermarket servo because my son has broken all of the ones that i put on all the stock ones so this is actually a yeah racing servo i don't know if you can see that in there but it's the same one that i got on this one it's a metal gear high torque uh servo it does really really good um but that's all i did on this one uh yeah so i actually know i did put the stock uh since he isn't crawling or he's mainly just driving in the house or like around the track i did put the stock bronco tires on these wheels just because because he wanted something different so that's all I did with that one. Uh, this one's got a couple of mods. So at first you can see that I did cut, I did take all the fender flares off. Uh, that had a lot of flex and stuff. Um, back here, I took the spare tire cover off. I put this, this is actually a Proline. Heck, I can't remember. It's a Proline tire, a Proline TRX4. M 18th scale tire. It did really, really well. I bought it in a hobby shop in Lexington, Kentucky. I love it. Uh, but I had these on order and I wanted to try these out. And so far these are a little bit stickier and tackier than these. So if I pop the hood or pop, take the body off. Anyway, like you can see where the stuff used to be, where the fender flares used to be. All I did was just cut it out. You know, there's a couple screws you can undo, but I just cut it out and that's really about it. Not as, it's a little bit heavy in the back, but it's not as heavy as it was. As you can see, I've got a couple of things on here. So first I got the Enjora uh, mud terrain tires and these uh, chrome wheels bead locks on here. Um, I've got the Enjora high uh, clearance suspension arm. And then I've got the Enjora uh, flex blades which I wasn't sure about the flex blades at first, but they do really well, actually. Um, the only thing that's wrong with this one right now is this is not, I don't have the low gear in here or a brushless. So I need the low gear in this to turn these tires a lot better. I need the low gear or the brushless uh, system in here. And I think I'd be completely done. And you can also see the yeah, racing servo in here. And it's also wider. It's got the spacers on the, the brass brace spacers on the uh, sides here. So it's a little bit wider, but it's it's way, way fun. It's way more capable than it was, even with um, how, you know, the taller tires and how this isn't the lower gear. It's way more capable than it was still uh, on a lot of stuff. But that's basically about it. I didn't show how I put it together because there is thousands and thousands of videos of how to put it together but i will show a video of it running and how the suspension works and everything like that so far you know i like it i may take uh the flex blades off eventually if i get some different shocks you know i don't know what i'm gonna do but it's a little bit heavier it's a little bit heavier than the uh the fender even without even with no body on here so it's a lot of fun i'm gonna get a couple running videos in real quick to show y'all and show how you how this does also before you get in the comments to say your wheels are messed up if you look right here and then you look right there so i did these right but i did those wrong and i don't feel like taking them back off that's kind of lazy of me i know but it's kind of hard plus i got another set i'm gonna do so I may eventually give these to my son or something if he wants them. 
but for now they they do exactly what they're meant to do so anyway all right guys we're gonna head outside to our little rock pile kind of go over it see how it does then i'm gonna wrap up the video Sorry about my dogs, they are kind of crazy. Good dogs, just crazy. So with those uh, flex blades, I get a lot of drop out of the axles. So I feel like I'm getting traction like down here as well. Instead of just where there's a lot of pressure. And I can definitely tell the crawling gear in this is not great though. Like there's, there's times where that servo though is really good. There's times where like right here, I wish I had more low end torque than I did uh, like speed. I also had to trim off my front bumper close to where the LED lights are. Look at that. I was expecting to go right over that like that. The center of gravity is way down on this one compared to the Defender. But I just like the Bronco better anyway. Oh no. I'll be able to see my dogs in the background. Yeah, there's Dolly. So look at the flex on that you can't really see it but the back right tire is touching the front left tire is touching which i know they ain't got as much grip but still those flex blades give it enough traction in those those less grip areas to get some kind of some kind of bot to help you know if i just had the lower gear i'd be done with this truck I went to the hobby shop yesterday. I should have got the lower gear. Now see, look how much, see that, that, that back axle has fell. Let me turn you all around. That back axle has fell into that hole. I'm hoping it'll get traction and push itself up, but it doesn't look like it's gonna get any. I don't know yet. It's getting traction, it's just the front's not helping any. If I go over to the right a little bit. Hang 
got enough power to push the tires. It's crazy. If I had that lower gear, I think it would. That are brushless. See, I like to go through, I would like to do either brushless or the low gear and then bearings. I heard bearings will get rid of my torque twist, so. You know something cool about this little rock garden is my grandparents made it when I was really, really young. It just worked out that I got these RC crawlers to drive on it. Heck, this little rock garden might have been here before I was alive. guys well, i'm gonna wrap it up with that not a very long video but i just kind of want to showcase the flex blades and you know how good or not good they were um so far for me i think they're great uh worthy of purchase if you're not going to get aftermarket shocks um especially longer shocks and stuff so fun truck need the lower gears other than that, pretty good. Thank y'all for the views. Thank y'all for the love and support. Y'all have a blessed one.